Changing gears, I want to talk about something really important now, and that is what Paris Hilton was doing today. And I am not joking. She was actually doing something really critical. Paris Hilton was on Capitol Hill, and she was joined by Oregon Senator Jeff Merkley and other lawmakers, along with survivors of abuse. That group came together to push for a bill that would protect children placed in what are called congregate care facilities. Those are group homes, basically for kids. They're all over the country, and sometimes kids who were deemed troubled are sent there for treatment. Paris Hilton was sent to one of those uh, facilities as a teenager, and she says what she went through was horrific. One night when I was 16 years old, I woke up to two large men entering my bedroom asking me if I wanted to go the easy way or the hard way. Thinking I was being kidnapped, I screamed for my parents. And as I was being physically dragged out of my house, I saw them crying in the hallway. They didn't come to my rescue that night. This was my introduction to the troubled teen industry. I was strangled, slapped across the face, watched in the shower by male staff, called vulgar names, forced to take medication without a diagnosis, not given a proper education, thrown into solitary confinement in a room covered in scratch marks and smeared in blood, and so much more. So, in the past few years, Hilton has made it her mission to try and protect kids who have gone through the things she went through and to stop it from happening to more kids. So she's working with Senator Merkley and other lawmakers on the what's called the Accountability for Congregate Care Act. It would basically establish basic rights for kids who are sent to these kinds of facilities. Congregate care without oversight becomes congregate abuse. And that's what we discover all too often when we look into the system. Now, it is worth noting Paris Hilton supported a similar bill in Oregon that took effect last month, actually. And this new nationwide bill is based in part on that Oregon law.